They call it the pregnancy glow, but what if I told you that glow isn't just a romanticized myth and for some women it's replaced by acne, melasma, or rashes. Your skin might become your best friend or your biggest mystery. By the end of this video, you'll know exactly why pregnancy can transform your skin in opposite directions and what science says that you can do about it. Hi, I'm Dr. Mamina Terregano, a triple board certified dermatologist, mom to be a second time, and skin health geek. When I was in training, I met a patient in her second trimester who walked into my office radiating that glow people talk about, but then two weeks later, she returned, her cheeks were covered in dark patches, her forehead was breaking out. Her question was, what happened to my glow? And here's the truth. The answer lies deep in your hormones, your blood vessels, and even in your immune system. And the surprising part, well, many of these changes are a biologically strategic move for the baby's survival with unintended side effects for your skin. So during pregnancy, estrogen and progesterone surged to levels far beyond anything outside of pregnancy, according to a 2023 review in Obstetrics and Gynecology Science. These hormones don't just regulate reproduction, they actually stimulate blood flow, they increase skin oil production, and they alter your immune responses. All that extra blood flow, it's what can give you that flushed, but luminous look, but there's a catch. So that same hormone storm can also overstimulate pigment cells leading to melasma, the so-called mask of pregnancy. A 2022 paper in the Journal of the American Academy of Dermatology found that up to 70% of pregnant women develop melasma to some degree. I mean, I get it. And here's the twist. Melanin production during pregnancy may actually have an evolutionary advantage, okay? Acting as a natural sunscreen for sensitive skin. Also during pregnancy, you'll notice that other things become more dark, nipples, get darker. You also have that pigmented line from your belly button down to your groin. That's called linea nigra. And these have been put in place evolutionarily so that the baby can find its way up to your breast milk. But unfortunately, all of these protective mechanisms can leave behind dark spots long after delivery. And then there's the issue of acne. Elevated progesterone can make your oil glands more hyperactive, clogging pores, and triggering breakouts, sometimes worse than anything you experienced as a teenager. There was a 2021 dermatology review that suggested this is partly because progesterone has a swelling effect on the skin's sebaceous glands, creating the perfect storm for inflammation. And yes, that means pregnancy acne can be unpredictable, stubborn, and resistant to many standard treatments, unfortunately, because many medications, especially oral medications, are not recommended in pregnancy. Now, there are a lot of things that you can still use for your acne. Azelaic acid is one of my favorite things and a lower strength glycolic acid. And I talk about all of these in more detail in a very comprehensive video on skincare during pregnancy. And you can check that out in the description box below. Another thing too in pregnancy, your immune system will shift. A 2023 review in Frontiers in Immunology showed that pregnancy pushes your immune system into a more tolerant mode to protect the fetus. But this also means that the skin conditions that you've never had, like eczema or psoriasis can flare or strangely improve. Why some conditions get better while others worsen is still a mystery scientists are still figuring out. And then, yeah, similar with autoimmune diseases, oftentimes autoimmune diseases will actually calm down during pregnancy because your immune system's less reactive. But like I said, we've seen it go both ways. I've had an unfortunate case when I was in residency. She was a patient with a crazy autoimmune condition in her lungs, and she also had vasculitis on her shins, which is like this specific skin rash. And she quickly progressed, she was pregnant, and she ended up passing away and her baby did as well. That was really odd because normally, like I said, autoimmune conditions um, aren't as common during pregnancy. Here's the fascinating part. The pregnancy glow and the hormonal chaos are two sides of the same coin. The increased vascularization and oil production that give you that luminous plump skin are the exact same processes that can cause melasma, acne, and inflammation. So your glow, unfortunately, is not a guarantee. It's a hormonal gamble. So what's the payoff? What can you do? Well, the goal isn't to stop these changes because you can't fight biology, unfortunately. Your hormones are gonna do what it's gonna do. But to work with your skin's shifting environment. So I always tell my pregnant patients, gentle, fragrance-free cleansers, broad spectrum mineral sunscreens to prevent melasma from darkening, hydrating non-communogenic moisturizers to balance oil without clogging your pores, and perhaps most importantly, patience. Many of these changes will resolve within months postpartum. And like I said, if you want my full comprehensive guide to pregnancy and skincare, check out my full video in the description box below.
when it comes to managing your skin in pregnancy, there's also a deeper lesson here. So there was a 2024 review in Nutrients that found that diet patterns rich in antioxidants and omega-3s can actually help modulate inflammation and promote skin healing during pregnancy. In other words, supporting your skin from the inside out with leafy greens, berries, and fatty fish is more than a wellness cliche. It's evidence-based. <music> So pregnancy transforms every part of you, your heart, your blood, your immune system, and of course your skin. And while the glow is amazing and beautiful, the breakouts, the spots, the dark marks, the rashes don't make you any less radiant. They're signs that your body is working overtime to grow life. So whether you're glowing, breaking out, or somewhere in between, you're in the middle of one of nature's most powerful transformations. So just remember that like when you're going through pregnancy, because it is really discouraging. Like right now, I'm definitely dealing with like more dark spots than I normally deal with, and I can't use my usual stuff to get rid of it. But yeah, I think that it's, it's, your body's way of telling you that it's working. If you enjoyed this video, or if you know someone who's pregnant who would benefit from some reassurance about their skin changes, please share this with them. Give this a like, subscribe. Your support means a lot to me. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.